So we are Jay Davey. I'm Jack. I'm Brooke. We are here with Jack and Brooke from J. Davey, the amazing, talented group. How are you guys? Good. Good. You guys have been busy. Yeah. Like, really busy. <laughs> <laughs> Just got back from Europe, mm -hmm. um, Atlanta. Like, you guys are always doing shows. What's the best part about doing the shows? And then what's also, like, the toughest part? The best part is connecting directly with our fans. That's definitely the best part. I mean, just the travel sometimes can be arduous, depending on the situation. There's always random unexpected situations that happen with anything can really happen I think that's really you know when you go to a place that isn't familiar to you there's always something may potentially go wrong it's rarely exactly what it's supposed well, to be well musically style wise you guys have always been different from anything else that's out there so have you guys always been like that or was there a time in your life where you were like okay Forget everybody else, I'm gonna do, you know, my own thing, doing what I gotta do. It was really like that tough of a decision to make. It was just something that just kind of happened naturally. Just, you know, considering we were into a little bit of everything, music, art, to, you know, the changing of personal style as well as musical style. <laughs> So if we were to look onto your guys' iPod or iPads or Mac, whatever, um, who would be on there that you listen to that motivates you to work harder in your craft? Considering that I make music, I don't really listen to a lot of music. Yeah. So what motivates me to work harder are experiences in life. It's not generally like, oh, I heard this one song by this one group and it makes me want to work harder. Yeah. I just want to work harder, you know, just because to better the group yeah yeah to better the group to better myself as a person to better my family so um, but yeah there for me it's a lot of older stuff that comes into play mm -hmm. so I'll listen to like Jim Morrison or I'll listen to you know I'm playing the guitar a lot more now so I'll listen to Jimmy and it's like oh I have a lot of practice Listening to a lot of older stuff motivates me to work a little harder. Definitely. I don't think I can say that about any other artist. Mm. So. so you guys have a show coming up at the Hard Rock on August 17th? Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, but it's a little different from what you guys normally do. You're going to be performing the entire Police's CD. Yeah. Where did that come about? Why that specific CD? That album in particular just always stood out to us. and. LA Weekly hit us up with the opportunity and we went through a few different choices and that one just kind of clicked. always done what we wanted to do. I don't even think it was really by choice, it just didn't really feel natural to do anything else. So we've stuck with that and it seemed to, it seemed to be working. Yeah. <laughs> okay.
is I, I feel like most people are gonna say no. Yeah. It most people. Like I just that's just been the experience. Like if it's new, everybody's like I don't know yet because it's not out there already. And I saw somebody say something today on Twitter. Yeah, you know, Twitter has those random like you know epiphanies. Like oh, that's a cool statement. Yeah. <laughs> but someone will get it until everybody gets it. I think that's been pretty true for us. I mean, and I still feel like there's people who don't really, who still don't get what we do. It wasn't like you know we jumped up on the scene and everybody was feeling us. It's like he said, it takes a lot of perseverance. I would just say just do it and don't stop. So when you guys first started, was the was YouTube and all that? Was it just as big as it is now? Like no. MySpace promoting. It was oh, MySpace. MySpace. Okay. Yeah. Was the shit. Yeah. To us, when we started our MySpace page, it was like a joke, and then very quickly we had to start taking that format a lot more seriously. Because, I mean, it was pretty groundbreaking at the time. Just a melting pot of all these different types of music all at once at your fingertips. And YouTube t came shortly after. It's been this snowball effect of all these different online medium. It's definitely a more mature J. Davy sound, J. Davy piece of work. And I think that's why it's taken us so long. We definitely believe that when it's right then it's ready we want to give this record its proper due you know we've had the the luxury of just you know putting records out and just kind of doing it that way but this time it's it's a little uh it's a i think a bigger accomplishment for us why well, just throw it out there when it's not ready. People don't understand that in this day and age definitely because these times are so like fast and impulsive and everybody wants what they want immediately. It's you know so self gratifying but we're old school. It's huh? like pay attention to what's in front of you first yeah. and chew that and swallow that and then when we feel like that's well digested then we'll give Big you the sword. next portion. Yeah. We're not just gonna like you know make you little gluttons. I was so excited to just put it out there and let people see what happened. And then a lot of people responded really well to it, you know, even though that was like literally a one take demo. Yeah. So, you know, developing our own imprint as we speak, you know, elevator. elevator. Um, you know, and that's you know, including Deaf Sound and um, Lady Tripper, Clothing Line, and other ventures that, you know, we do aside from specifically J Day. Yeah. You know, things that we're interested in and want to push and promote. That's cool. Where'd the name came from? We've had that name since, I think. It was like Elevation initially, yeah. and then it turned into Elevator because it sounded more like a vehicle, something that was moving, not necessarily like a state, like a place, it's like, no, it's constantly moving, yeah. you know, it's, it's like I said, it's I a vehicle, a it's a platform. long time, I want to say since like 2000. I, I usually say like 10 years yeah. or something, but it, you know, it's just recently come to fruition as far as it being a tangible sort of place Maybe. or platform, you know. We are Jay Davey. You can catch us on Facebook, facebook.com. Slash we are J Davy and and our website jdavybaby.com. Also our imprint theelevator.com. The I L L A V the number eight R dot com and thepresspass.com.